Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Jay, and in today's episode, I want to discuss whether or not we should be buying, selling, or holding NVIDIA stock. Over the past few weeks, the CEO and president of NVIDIA has dumped millions of dollars worth of NVIDIA stock. Should you? Stay tuned. If you bought NVIDIA in the lows of 2022, you have made an absolute killing with the stock being up over 200% this year. There's no doubt in my mind that NVIDIA is one of the best companies in the world. They have great margins and great products. But there's been so much insider selling lately. And does that leave the question, is NVIDIA a little overvalued right now? A $1 trillion market cap and a PE ratio over 100. I want to break down what's going on with the stock and if we should be buying, selling, or holding NVIDIA stock. For me, in this current valuation, I don't know if I'm buying NVIDIA at $400 a share with that huge 200% run-up, but I kind of want to break down everything that's going around with the stock and all the competition that's coming, not to mention the extreme valuation, and decide whether or not we should be in the stock, out of the stock, or just kind of seeing what happens. All right, here we go. All right, everyone, I want to go over an article that was just published on NVIDIA and some more recent insider trading, and I want to show you even more insider trading after we get through this article. All right, let's check it out. It says, on September 11, 2023, President and CEO Jen Huang sold almost 30,000 shares worth of NVIDIA stock, and that valuation was around $1 trillion. This move is a part of a series of transactions made by this insider over the past year where this person sold over 148,000 shares and didn't buy any. That is a huge red flag for me. If the CEO and president of your company trades 150,000 shares with a valuation of over a trillion dollars, that could potentially mean that the stock you're in is overvalued because they're getting good value on their money and then maybe they buy back in later but they're at the current valuation that over one trillion dollar market cap a lot of nvidia executives and insiders are dumping the stock another thing that this article says is over the past year there's been 33 insider sales and absolutely no buys of nvidia stock that is the perfect example of an overvaluated stock. I'm going to take you guys over to Simply Wall Street. That's one of my favorite websites to get all the info you need about your favorite stocks. They trade on valuation, future growth, past performance. It goes over the management. It goes over who is buying and selling the stock. They give you categories for every metric you could possibly want for your valuation of your stocks. All right. So, I mean, NVIDIA's growth is great. Earnings are forecasted to grow 31% year over year. That's because they have incredible margins. Will those margins last as competition enters the market? I know a company like Neo, they currently use NVIDIA chips, but now they're putting a lot of research and development cash in developing their own chips. So as companies start to develop their own chips, are NVIDIA's margins going to stay as high as they are? By the looks of all the insider selling, that might tell you that the margins might get compressed over the next two to five years. Let's move on to price to earnings ratio. We can see by this chart that I have right here for you guys that NVIDIA is trading at a ridiculous premium to some other competitors in their field, currently trading at 105 price to earnings ratio. Broadcom, Analog Devices, and Qualcomm are all under 25. They're not necessarily the best examples, but any stock trading with 100 PE, they are growing a lot. 30% year over year is nothing to sneeze at, but is it worth 100 PE? I would like Nvidia more in the 50s or 60 price to earning ratio than at 100. I think 100 is a little overvalued. By the looks of this chart, it seems that simply Wall Street agrees with me. I would pay around the 50 to 60 PE ratio, but they said the fair value is around 45 on their chart. And they're looking at a stock that's about 30% overvalued. The current price coming around $440. They think fair value is in the $330 range. So if you can get NVIDIA under $300, you're getting a good value. Right now, you're overpaying for a little bit. If you're willing to hold the stock for a while and see if the competition can like make headways on them, knock yourself out. I don't know if I'm willing to take that kind of risk at this premium valuation. If we get under, you know, the... Even under $400, you can probably start nibbling if you really, really love NVIDIA stock. 
I think there's a lot of robust competition coming for NVIDIA. So that's why I think a lot of these insiders are starting to dump their shares. All right, right here we see the analysts breaking down the future growth forecast for NVIDIA. This is why NVIDIA is trading at such a premium. The forecast annual earnings growth 31%, the revenue growth 27%, and the industry average is 25% in this category and 14% for annual revenue growth and then the market trades significantly lower so that's why nvidia is trading at a premium they're not only forecasted to grow their earnings by 31 percent which significantly outperforms the industry and the market the revenue growth as a company at 27 percent is almost four times as much as the general market there is a ton to love about nvidia stock they have some of the best chips in the entire world, and a lot of companies depend on them to make their products. But I think there's competition coming, and man, look at all this selling, guys. Oh my God, look at all of these shares. Over the last year, year and a half, everyone on the exec board and the insiders have done nothing but sell the stock at this bloated valuation. And for me, that is a huge red flag. If you want to hold on to the shares, I totally understand why. But for me, I'm not buying any shares of NVIDIA at this valuation. And I wouldn't be holding the stock necessarily either. And if you are lucky enough to have 100 shares, I'd be selling cover calls, making some great premium. Because this valuation, by the looks of all this insider selling, is at its peak. If these insiders thought it could keep running and running and running, they wouldn't be selling their shares. So let me know in the comments below, what are you doing with NVIDIA stock? Are you buying it? Are you selling it? Are you holding it? I would love to know in the comments below. I'm staying away for all the reasons that I just let you guys know about. That insider selling scares the shit out of me. But let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.